sport has an incredible opportunity to build community. We really are a gathering space and a gathering force in a way. And so for me, the best part of the job is when we can create those spaces, invite people in, really create a sense of belonging and community. I'm Annie Klug. I'm the Vice President of Community Programs for the Trailblazers and the Executive Director of the Trailblazers Foundation. And I have been with the team for 10 seasons. A close dear friend of mine, he sprained his ankle and I took him to a physical therapy center. It was that moment that I realized that I was really passionate and loved the body, anatomy, just understanding, you know, injuries and how you can like help heal. Hi, I'm Dr. Courtney Watson. I am the head athletic trainer of the Portland Trailblazers. This is my first season with the team. I have been an athletic trainer for 25 plus years. Never would have imagined that I would be a coach, but when God has something for you, he's impossible to fight, really. My name is Danielle Williams. I'm the youth basketball manager, and I'm in my first season with the Blazers. I just honestly always remember being obsessed with sports. It was a lot of years it felt like waiting in my young life to get there. Basketball continued for me as a passion through high school. I loved connecting with my teammates, and the people that I got to meet along the way. And for me, it was all about community building, which obviously is extended to my work today. My first job was actually back at my high school. I actually started a sports medicine program there. After my 13 years, I, had, I applied for the NBA Development League, and so I applied for the Clippers. I got that position. For about 25 years now, almost 20 plus years, I covered uh, the Drew League, which is a pretty big summer pro league. A lot of pro guys come down to Los Angeles and play uh, throughout the summer months. And so I was the medical director there, still am. Started in my coaching role with um, volunteer coaching with my middle school. And I started doing clinics and camps and it just really grew um, very organically. I moved into a role um, with the New Orleans Pelicans and the Saints. I'm in a youth sports development associate role where I was able to learn the ropes from amazing women in that organization. And I learned about the community team at the Blazers and I thought, I think that's for me. I think that's exactly what I would love to do. At the end of the day, our focus is all on youth and we're connecting with youth across the state of Oregon and in the region. A friend of mine said that if you can make it in the D-League and you can make it through all these high school sports, you should try to pursue the WNBA. That was a great moment for me to work and watch some of the best women in the world um, play on that stage. So just learning from those girls and being around them. I just appreciate the mindset and the expertise. and You can see it so much in this level. Rip City Hoops, it's my, my baby, I love it. Um, it is all about um, giving kids a fun and respectful and safe space to learn the game of basketball. Now that I'm here and you know being able to relaunch the program is, like I said, just really a blessing. We just really put our heads together and, and try to get it done for the kids and try to empower and impact the, the next generation of Blazer fans. Now taking this position with the Blazers, I feel super blessed and, and thankful and proud to, to lead the youth basketball program here. This is like my wildest dream come true, actually. I am surrounded every day by people that have the same passion, that understand what sports can do individually for our lives, collectively for our community, and being around people that care that much about it, you just always feel like you're moving forward in this really exciting and innovative way. As my passion grew, I just really wanted to be able to, to give as much as I could to help grow young minds and young women's minds to be confident just seeing women grow and how much we've done in the past and how much we will continue to do. It's just a joy for me to be able to see it and now ultimately be a part of it. 